Google Play Music has been my go-to music app for Android for quite some time now, for the functionality of syncing between different devices and even syncing between my Chrome browser, but I want this functionality with other platforms. Well, Play Music is now available for iOS. I'm Mark Wolf from Copper vs Glass, and let's take a first look now. Now I want to get something out of the way real quick. The apps are pretty much identical between iPhone and Android. You're not really going to find any differences apart from obviously different screen sizes for different devices, but the way that the app functions and the way that the app works is exactly the same. You've got the pull out tab on the side which has obviously your library, your different albums and also your different songs. And like I say, everything is in exactly the same places where you would find it and the app functions exactly the same. Now. Overall, I really do like the application. Like I said, I've been using it for a long time on Android. And the iOS version, like I say, is basically a complete clone of what you're going to be getting on Android. So if you've got different music and things that you want to be playing across multiple devices, then this is definitely a go-to app for that. You can see here that I'm playing the same track from the same Google account, and there's no interruption, there's no problem with that at all, which again, I find real handy and real nice when I'm in a situation where I may want to have someone using one device and me using the other. The application itself performs extremely well on the iPhone. I'm using it here on iPhone 5 on Wi-Fi and the performance is incredibly good. I would personally say that it maybe performs a little bit better than the Android version in the fact that it doesn't take as long to buffer things like pictures of artists, album covers and things like that. And just the overall fluidity of the application is great. I'm not saying the Android version isn't good, but this is maybe slightly more crisp. Now although the actual app icon itself looks as though it's made for iOS 7, the app certainly isn't. Now that's adamant when you go into the keyboard, you can see here that it's got the same old style keyboard as what you would find on the old iOS 6, which is a little bit of a disappointment seeing as it is a brand new app. Now the great thing about this application is it syncs across multiple devices. So if I search now for a band called The Used, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go in, you can see what I've got already from their library. You can see their top songs, and you can also see some other albums that I maybe don't have. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add one of these albums to my library. So here they've got a new live album, which I'm not, I haven't got that album. So I'll put that into my library. What I can then do though is go over to my Nexus 5. I can load up Google Play Music. And if I go back into my library, you'll see that the album is already there. So like I say, the syncing across multiple platforms is great and something that definitely comes in handy. And that's pretty much going to do it guys. Google Play Music is available now in the App Store and it's completely free of charge. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass and this has been your first look at Play Music from Google, available now for iOS. <laughs>